All right. You ready? Hello. So before I get started with our arguments, I want to start off by defining a few terms. On October 26, 2001, not too long after 9-11, President George W. Bush signed a law called the Patriot Act. So the Patriot Act followed federal officials great, uh, allowed federal officials greater authority in tracking <coughs> and intercepting communications, both for purposes of law enforcement and foreign intelligence gathering. It also gave the, secure, uh, the Secretary, Secretary of Treasury regula regulatory powers to combat corruption of U.S. financial institutions, but it most importantly actively worked to uh, actively worked to close our borders um, for, to foreign terrorists, terrorists, and to detain and remove those within our border. It also established new new crimes, new penalties, and new procedural techniques for use against domestic and international terrorists. So, however, this act expired on June 1st, 2015, but a day later, on June 2nd, 2015, they uh, replaced it with the Freedom Act, signed by uh, President Obama. This act essentially just uh, put an end to the NSA eavesdropping on our communications with one another. So my partner and I believe that the Freedom Act should be repealed and that the NSA should, not have, ac should have access to view our communications with one another. Our three main points as to why it should be re uh, re uh, revealed is that one, there are so many attacks happening currently in the United States with further surveillance we could possibly put an end to it. And two, it will allow for faster gathering of information for the NSA. And three, it also creates a safer United States avoiding both domestic terrorism and foreign ter terrorism from U.S. soil. So not only do we want to repeal it, but we also want to go back to the ways of the Patriot Act where there is more surveillance. Um, according to John R. Parkinson, who wrote an article for ABC News, the director of, he, this article was written on June 18, 2013, so the Patriot Act was still in place when this article was written. He said the director of National Security Administration today um, told Congress that, about, that more than 50 potential terrorist attacks um, have been thwarted by two controversial programs tracking more than a billion phone calls and <coughs> swaths of internet data each day. The attacks on would-be targets, such as New York Stock Exchange, were prevented by catching telephone metadata and internet inf information from millions of Americans since 9-11. So basically, when there was more surveillance in the United States, we were able to stop um, terrorist attacks from happening, in this case, over 50-plus terrorist attacks. Um, according to Glenn Solmazy for CNN, the current threat by Al-Qaeda is, is one that requires aggressive intelligent co intelligence collections and efforts. One has to look no further than the disruption of the New York City, the New York City subway bombers or the Boston mom, uh, Marathon bombers to know that the war on Al-Qaeda is coming home to the U.S., to our citizens, to our students, to our streets, and our subways. This 21st century war is different and requires new ways and methods of carrying information. Um, of gathering information, sorry. As technology has increased, so has our ability to gather valuable, often actionable intelligence. Uh, however, the move towards homegrown terror will uh, necessarily require by accident or purposefully collections of the U.S. Uh, citizens, conversations with potential overseas persons of interest. So also, according to Occupy Therapy, the Patriot Act is considered necessary by those who are worried about the technology of the time-taking procedure over proper investigation. As modes of communication continue to change on a constant basis, there is more investigation to be done. No longer are potential terrorists limited to their ability to contact one another, so increased security measures are co are considered necessary by Patriot Act supporters. So basically, like every day, there's a new app or some sort of new way to communicate with each other, and it, they're just going to keep growing, so we need to have some sort of monitoring at all. Um, according to NPR, supporters say that say this provision has already allowed investigators to search the houses of drug dealers and other criminals without providing notice um, that might jeopardize an investigation. It also allows investigators to get a, to get a foreign intelligence wiretap or search order, even if they end up bringing criminal charges instead. The provisions allow investigators to obtain books, records, papers, documents, and other items sought <coughs> in connection with the terror investigation. So it says that uh, Prior to the Patriot Act, they would have to, they or the Freedom Act makes them have to get a warrant to search uh, criminals. But with with the Patriot Act, they could just go ahead and go in with the investigation, so there nothing would be really je jeopardized from the case. Um, and then also all these 
all of these would not be as easily gathered with the Patriot Act in, uh, without the Patriot Act in place and under the Freedom Act. So finally, according to futureofworking.com, since the Patriot Act, government agencies such as the FBI was given the green light to act and tap phones that are suspected to be used by terrorists and lone wolves without having to go under strict policies, such as having to ask for individual requests. With the U.S. Patriot Act, the government came up with a streamlined surveillance system, which made it easier for authorities to intercept and send terrorists to justice. Moreover, there was a great improvement to the communications within agencies, making them capable of addressing problems and acting on issues related to terrorism. So overall, we believe that the Patriot Act <coughs> needs to be reformed, reinforced, and the Freedom Act should be repealed so that we can have a safer place.